guys, it's the Pumpkin Plum Bob. Welcome back to my channel and welcome back to a, another build video. I know I am going heavy on the build videos as of late, but I am just really enjoying them right now and I hope that you guys are too. So for this video, I'm going to be trying out the James Turner Thin House build challenge. So basically, another YouTuber, James Turner, you might know him as The Sim Supply, he created this challenge which is basically like a shotgun house, so it's a really tall, thin house. It's three tiles wide and four stories high, so it's obviously like really, really thin and I'm just going to try to decorate it the best that I can. Now before we get into that, I just want to remind you guys about the game pack giveaway that I am currently running, that is running on my Twitter at the moment. I will make sure to link that Twitter post down below in the description and I will put my Twitter handle on the screen now for you. So basically once my channel hits 500 subscribers, I will be giving the winner of that game pack giveaway a game pack of their choice. So if you haven't entered that, then make sure to. Like I said, I will link the rules down below in the description. So without further ado, let's... So without further ado, let's dive into it. Okay, so I've just downloaded this lot from the gallery. Um, if you just go into the gallery and search um, EAID The Sim Supply or one word, you will find this is called the Thin House Challenge. So basically what you get is two um, houses already built and then a gap in the middle and you have to basically build in between these houses. So what I'm quickly gonna do is just go and build that outside shell. Okay, there we go. I've literally just filled in that gap. Um, so there's gotta be four stories high. So what I need to really go and do, I think first is go and put staircases in. That's like my main concern is where I'm gonna fit the stairs. Obviously, if I was doing this challenge um, after the eco living or eco lifestyle, what is that pack even called? If I was doing this challenge after that pack was released, I would have no problem because I could just put ladders in. We'd have so much more space, but unfortunately, we do not. Now, I want to keep this kind of like a period feel to it just because of the houses that surround it. So I think I'm going to put these brick staircases in and I just need to figure out where to put these. I don't know whether to just put one like on each side of, of each story or maybe I'll just have that on this floor because I'd like to give like a back door into the garden. Um, so maybe on the other floors I can like bend them around the back wall. Right, in the second story it's super dark so you probably can't see, um, but it's, I've kind of done this like spirally staircase on the opposite end of the floor. So what I think I'm going to do is just copy and paste this staircase on the next floor to go up to the top floor. Right, so now we've done that, I'm going to go and look for some walls to put on here. So I think we need to keep this brick theme to really sort of keep it in fashion with these other two houses. These two houses, I don't really understand this like facades on them. I mean, I'll do the facade on the front, but I'm not going to do it on the back here because I mean, it just gives us that little bit more space. So I think this um, needs to be like a different kind of color brick to the others just to make it stand out a little bit more. So I'm going to go for this sort of orangey brick. And yeah, I think I will build a facade as well on the front. I'm going to try and just mirror um, what they've done with those other two um, just to try and keep it sort of in fashion although I'm so bad at building like jutting out bits of roof oh I wanted to put this uh, the same arch in from the other one but because it's only two it's <laughs> two tiles wide and obviously we don't have that update yet so that's really annoying I'm gonna have to find a different archway maybe the vampires one it's a little bit gaudy but I mean it's three tiles wide so it kind of fits I might go with that one right so I'm very quickly going to roof this build as best as I can to match the others right so I have kind of roofed that the sticky out window does not look as good on our house because it's only like three tiles wide so I haven't got those like inner bits on the corners if that makes any sense whatsoever. 
I'm actually really confused by this house. Oh, I've just realized something. So the, the other stories kind of come out to where the facade comes out on the ground floor. Right, so I've put the trim on. I can't really seem to get the trim around this bit here. I don't think it's meant to go around there. But yeah, that's kind of uh, what we're working with. I'm gonna just go do the same to the back, make sure all the trims match and everything. Yep, it's all good around here. So I'm gonna go look for some complimentary windows. I don't want them to be too huge just because obviously this is a thin house. They're all gonna need to be like one tile wide really, or three tiles wide, which I, like I'm struggling, I'm only finding like two tile wide ones. So I found this cute one which could go along all the stories except for the one with the front door and of course the roof pitch. That is from Cats and Dogs, I think that one. Or well, actually there's one that looks like they're taller windows so I might go put those on instead. Now I just need to find something like really small for you know the top that still matches. Right, so I found this really similar one um, that I've just put on the top there. So I'm gonna just go ahead and put these same windows on the back. Okay, so for front doors, what I'm gonna do is I found this really nice one, um, also from Cats and Dogs, which matches the window. So I am gonna put that, oh, if it'll let me, I'm gonna put that instead of having like two windows and a door in the middle, this is gonna be the front door. Uh, and the back door, the one that I wanted is two tiles wide. That is so annoying. We have this kind of like barn style door, which is nice, it's kind of cute. We could go with that one instead. Right, so now the exterior is done. Time to start with the interior. I am gonna go put in lighting as usual, just so that I can actually see what I'm doing. Right, so we need to figure out what um, each story is gonna be. I think that the ground floor needs to be the kitchen. Um, that just kind of makes the most sense to me. So I'm gonna have to fit a kitchen around this staircase, which is right in the middle. I kind of wish that that staircase wasn't there, but I wanted the back door, so it kind of has to be. Unless this could be like your entrance way and then maybe like a little study area and we have the kitchen one story up. I could have also like utilized a basement space, but I really didn't want to put two staircases kind of in this area. And also five stories is a lot to think about. So yeah, I think this one then, I will do this as kind of like an entranceway study. So I think we need to find some little end tables or something as you come in the door. Now, anyone who watches my videos knows I am not great at period style builds. I am a modern builder, that's just what I like. So that is gonna be kind of difficult for me to um, decorate this. I might kind of do it as like a renovated period home. <laughs> Two. So try and add some modern touches just because that's just really what I'm used to. That's my comfort zone and I kind of want to stay there to be honest. But it is good to kind of push the boat out and try something a bit different as well, I know. So I might try line this wall with like bookcases or something. I'm just trying to go with a dark wood swatch throughout. None of the swatches are going to match, are they? So. It's just easier to just stick with a dark wood, I think. There we go, we've got a lot of bookshelves going on here. I know it's a lot, but it just kind of made sense to me to have that. You know, these kind of houses, they remind me of London townhouses, which are kind of old fashioned, really posh looking. That's the kind of thing you might see if you were to walk into one of those is a lot of old bookcases and things. And maybe we could have like, I don't know, a sculpture or something down here as well, in this little corner. Actually, I think a grandfather clock would look really good here. Yeah, that's really cute, I like that. So, I mean, that I'm not really gonna put too much furniture down here, so I think we can go and decorate the walls and things. Now, I think you would have wallpaper um, in this kind of house. Maybe something with like panelling along the bottom. Right, so I've just put this kind of, it's kind of a basic 
wallpaper with some wood panelling. You can't really see it because this house is so thin. Um, but it, the wood panelling matches that dark wood of the furniture. And I think we'd need like a dark wooden floor here as well. I'm going to go with a Victorian parquet in the like dark brown. There we go. Right, so I think that's all I'm really going to do for this floor. Um, and yeah, I think what I'll do is the next floor up will be the kitchen and then we'll have the living room and then a bedroom bathroom right so let me look at the placement of this room um i think we might have to have like kitchen counters along this area here and then maybe try and shove a dining table like under i think the staircase can move along one actually can it no we can't move the staircase along we can move it out of the way, but it's just annoying because it cannot intersect that wall, so it can't go closer to the window, which is kind of annoying. But we can fit something, we can fit a little table here under that. So kitchen counters. I might go with like an industrial style kitchen counter. Um, I have this one from Simcredible. We can have this in... what colours? What colours do we have? These colour previews are not great. Okay, we have this like green, which is nice. I know I said I was going to try do this modern, but I think I'm actually feeling the, the a little bit old fashioned. Right, so I've put those in there. I need to figure out how people are going to walk around this area. So I can put furniture, you know, like a fridge and oven up to here, um, as long as they can walk along this way to get under to the dining table, that's fine. I don't think I have any fridges that match. <laughs> and maybe a mini fridge, that might be a little bit better. Oh, it's small, that's quite cute actually. And we actually have a matching oven and it's like an Arga style oven that fits just nicely into the kitchen counters. So yeah, I really like that. I just really hate the fridge, but I don't want to stick a huge ass fridge in here. So let's go look for a sink that matches. Oh, we have the industrial kitchen sink from the same set. I like that. It's like modern touches that they've added to the kitchen. And I am going to give them all the mod cons, give them, you know, a microwave and everything. I was hoping to give them some matching cupboards, but I can't find matching cupboards, which is really annoying. So I'm not going to put ones that don't match in. But maybe they can have these wine racks and things here. And we've got some shelves actually, which will do nicely. So you can just imagine that, you know, they put all their plates and things on these shelves. And I've cluttered up the sides a bit as well. So let's go find a little table that we can stick under here. We've got this Parisian dining table. Um, which kind of matches the wood from the countertop, so I think I'll go with that, you know. And it comes with a set of matching chairs as well. Um, I think we can fit four here, yeah. And there we go, so we've managed to fit a whole kitchen and dining area in here. So let's have a look at walls and flooring. Also, as usual, I have forgotten about lighting on the ground floor, so once I've done this room, I will go find some lights for the ground floor. Okay, I found this wallpaper that I like and I don't really know what style this is. It might be like Art Deco style. I don't know, I can't really tell. Um, but I'm gonna put it in anyway and then maybe just add some tiles to the kitchen counter area. Kind of sticking with the Art Deco theme here and also green to match the kitchen counters. This isn't the kind of tile I would usually go for but I just want to try out new things in this build. Flooring, I think, has got to be tiled, um, just for my preferences. Kitchens should always be tiled. We have these like marble tiles, which are quite neutral. Yeah, I like that. So I think we need to try and get some like art on the walls, just because we have this like whole big wall here. Okay, so we have some of the owner's modern touch coming in here a little bit just with some of that artwork there and I think we'll put plants in the corners maybe there we go they're cute right so I think that is pretty much it in terms of decor so I'm gonna get rid of the lights and 
find some that match a bit better. I want some kind of industrial lights to go in here. So I think these like loft lights are cool. They're like low hanging ones. Yeah, I like those. Again, adding that little bit like modernist touch to it. And I think we could fit a lamp under the staircase there. And there we go. I don't know if you can see that. Just kind of hiding that under the staircase and giving that dining table a bit of light. So for the downstairs lights, I don't know what kind of lights to put down here. It's really sort of decadent, like entrance way. Oh my God. But I don't want to go too crazy. Maybe just something like this kind of plain little. Also, does anybody else put as many lights in their rooms as I do? Because in real life, I do not use this many lights in my house. I have like one light fitting per room and maybe a lamp. But I swear literally every build I do, I put at least three ceiling lights in. I also didn't really put any art here, did I? And maybe something to go along that wall there would be good because it just looks kind of plain and boring. Again, just adding a little bit of a modernist touch here. And there we go. It's so annoying that you can't really see because this is such a thin house. Right, so we're going up to the living room area now. Um, I need to figure out how to configure this. So I swear we have, oh, because we moved the staircase, I think we've like lost flooring here. Let me go. Ugh, can we really not use any of this floor space here? That's kind of annoying. I don't really think this through with the staircases, did I? I really wanted a fireplace, but I don't know where we're going to fit one. It might have to go here under the stairs and we can have a little seat there to sit by it and then have like a TV uh, sofa situation here. All right, so let's pick out a sofa. I'm going to go with this sofa. I'm, oh, this is like huge, actually. I can't go with that because there's nowhere to, for them to walk. I'm going to have to go with a two seater sofa. How about this little love seat here? Do they have room to walk around? How many? tiles do they need to walk they can have a half tile to walk around and actually i think if we put a fireplace opposite them then they can just have like a tv table maybe they can't maybe there's not enough room for that so i had a brain wave or maybe before i was just having a brain fog but they can have a tv on the wall i don't know why it took me so long to figure that out so that way they've got a nice little fireplace, they've got a TV, they've got room to be walking around and getting through that area. This really is annoying me here because realistically, they would be able to walk over that area. You're not just gonna have a big hole there. The staircase would be like built up into the floor. Just for good measure, they're gonna get another bookcase up here. Can you believe it? Actually, no, they're not. I changed my mind, they're getting a desk. I have these cute little custom content, like, what do you call them? I forgot that word. Mo module, mo mold, what? I forgot, I forgot the word. But when you have different parts that you can put to, oh my God, what is happening? This chair doesn't quite fit, that's annoying. There we go, I just pulled the desk out one more. And then they can have a nice little computer on there. Can we fit any plants or anything in here? Maybe right up in corner over here. Can we fit a lamp? I think we can probably just squeeze a lamp just here next to the sofa. There we go. <laughs> that is very, very tight. So I want to give them kind of a modern feel upstairs. Maybe like they've started renovating and this is like the most modern room that they have in the house. But I think they would keep with an art deco feel. That is what I'm getting so far from this house. They like the art deco style and in a modern way and they want to incorporate that into this house. I'm going to give them a nice new wooden floor up here as well. Right, so lighting. I want something low hanging again. I think maybe one of these like glass lamps. Yeah, I like that. And I'm gonna stick a rug under here. Again, it's kind of art deco-y. So this is like the most modern room in the house so far. 
Oh, I just realised something. We have like lost space here for some reason. I don't know why. So if I can extend this room out, I might be able to move that staircase. That just gives us a little bit more room up here. Not too much, but just that extra square. And so finally we come to the bedroom bathroom. So I think I'm just gonna section off a little bit at the end for a really small bathroom. So I don't think we can fit a full double bed in here. We might have to do the Murphy bed. Yeah, I think we're gonna have to stick with a Murphy bed in here. I feel like these are exactly the kind of builds that Murphy beds were designed for. Right, so I've ever so quickly just put a bathroom suite in here. We really can't fit that much else in the bedroom. So I'm gonna go ahead and just choose some walls and flooring. For the bathroom, I've gone for this green tile, which I think is something that you would probably see in this kind of townhouse build. But in the bedroom, I've modernized it again and put this art deco style modern wallpaper. And then for flooring, I've just given them a nice wooden floor in the bedroom and this like stone tile in the bathroom. And I've just put some art on the walls and a little plant in the corner there. And finally, I've just put a small dresser over here and that's pretty much all that we can fit in this room up here. So I think we're pretty much done with this build now. We've got our four stories. So we've got our bedroom here, our living room, our kitchen and our entryway. So I hope that you guys have enjoyed this thin house build challenge. If you have, then make sure to leave me a thumbs up and let me know your thoughts on my version of the thin house down below in the comments. As I mentioned earlier, don't forget to enter my game pack giveaway if you haven't done so already. That is linked down below in the description. And if you would like to see more of my content, then hit that subscribe button and that bell button so that you get notified when I'm posting. Thank you guys so, so much for watching and I will catch you in the next one.